This video is to talk you through how you would clean a bed if you're asked to support cleaning within a clinical area. The first step is to choose your wipe. We're currently using the green Clinal wipes. If you're asked to use the red Clorox wipes for any reason, you will be told what personal protective equipment you will need to be wearing when cleaning with this wipe. Once you've selected your wipe, the first step, as with all of our principles, is to take a single wipe out of the packet and open it flat so the entire surface is available for cleaning. This is crucial to ensure that the cleaning agent is equally spread across the surface. When you start cleaning, you will use a single wipe for about one meter of a surface and then dispose of it. Wipes should be fully open and surfaces should be cleaned with an S-shaped motion in order to clean the entire surface and to prevent you going back over areas, therefore distributing contamination. Surfaces like beds are often very complicated things to clean. You need to think of it as splitting the surface up into different sections to enable efficient cleaning to be undertaken. If you see any specific areas that are contaminated visually before you start cleaning, clean these off initially in order to make sure that when you're cleaning everything else, you equally cover everything. As you can see, it's important to open up all areas of things like a mattress to make sure that you're cleaning within the covers where there are protective surfaces over things like zips that will also hold contamination. So once you've done with the mattress, we're now going to start cleaning the bed frame itself. This is because bed frames are frequently contaminated, especially items like bed rails where people regularly touch the bed, not just patients but also staff and visitors. You can see here again we're using an S-shaped motion on the side. For those surfaces like the rail itself that are not amenable to an S-shaped clean, we are cleaning along it in one long motion, not going backwards where we've already cleaned. If you encounter any issues with equipment during cleaning, always feel free to ask for help or assistance.
it's key to try to ensure that you're covering every single piece of the surface when cleaning. And this is where the S-shaped motion really helps. The reason we're doing the bed rails last is because we always maintain the principle of cleaning from clean to dirty. So the mattress will have been covered whilst the patient stayed upon it. The bed rails we know are going to be high touch surfaces and therefore are being cleaned after the mattress. The most important thing is to be systematic. So know what order you're going to clean things in and make sure you don't forget anything. Although some of these surfaces are quite complicated to clean, just always keep in mind the five key principles. Choose the right wipe, take one wipe at a time and open it out in its entirety. Clean the entire surface using an S-shaped motion and make sure that you only use one wipe for the amount of surface that you need. So one wipe per item or if the item is bigger than a metre, make sure you swipe out wipes every metre.